the National Junior Honor Society had its induction ceremony at Francis Scott Key Middle School. With faculty, staff, students, family, and friends gathered, the inductees marched into the elegant cadence of Ave Maria. The program orchestrated by Marvin Ewing showcased a very elegant style and sophistication, yet had a fresh mix of talent, from ringing oratory to the Cougarettes dance tribute to Michael Jackson. Today's society is dependent upon excellence in education, engineering, the arts, and science. I shared some of what has helped me to be successful, how they can focus, use leverage, and create value. How adversity will prepare them to let their light shine brighter as they walk in his provision. Their participation and achievement will be a necessary part of the checks and balances in our society. The National Junior Honor Society was founded in 1929 to recognize and encourage character, scholarship, leadership, service, and citizenship and remain even more relevant today. The flaming torch is the emblem of that purpose to carry onward the searching flame of truth to lead that others may follow the bright life to cherish the enduring varieties of life, and to serve all the purposes symbolized by the torch. To which the inductees made their pledge. The organization transferred leadership to new officers during the candle lighting ceremony, and the new members received their certificates. Through the service activities and academic standards, members maintain and extend the qualities that won them selection the National Junior Honor Society requires a student to have a grade point average of 3.5 or higher. Key Middle School Principal Erwin Wilson was on hand to give her remarks to present the newly inducted members with their certificates, to thank the parents and friends, and to recognize sponsor Marvin Ewing for his efforts. I thank Marvin Ewing and Key Middle School for inviting me back, all the effective partners who played a part, and encourage the students to keep reaching for the mark of the prize of the high calling. May he who has started a great work in you carry it on to completion. Brought to you in part by Craig Anthony Nicholas, MrCan.net.